building you see right here behind me is NASA's Mission Control. It's the famous building you see in the movies with the Florida ceiling glass windows. Well, this is the general area where we were at when the shuttle took off. So we had the best seats in the house when the countdown reached zero and we could literally feel those rocket boosters ignite. After a cliffhanger countdown and an eruption of blinding white smoke, the world's most complex, most famous spaceship majestically rocketed into history. I, I just am... Um... I don't know, there's no words to say how awesome it is. But you see, at first the odds were stacked against Atlantis taking off on its first try Friday. You can see how thick the clouds were, but the eager crowd, impatient to hear the final roar of the space shuttle, refused to lose hope. Being here, knowing that I'm going to be witnessing history happen right here in front of me, um, it gives me goosebumps. Defying the threat of bad weather, Atlantis would shoot up in the heavens 11.29 a.m. We are go. But not before this emotional exchange between the flight director and the astronauts on board. So for the final time, good luck, Godspeed, and have a little fun up there. Without ending the journey today, Mike, we're completing a chapter of a journey that will never end. You and the thousands of men and women who gave their hearts, souls, and their lives for the cause of exploration have rewritten history. The crew of Atlantis is ready for launch. A sentimental journey more than a million people came to witness up close. Some, like Kathy O'Day from New Jersey, even slept in her car for two days in order to secure a prime viewing spot. It was a combination of like a, a you know, rock concert and... and and a camp out. But for others, like this reporter, space flight is a lifelong passion. So saying goodbye to the shuttle that's been a part of our lives for more than 30 years was bittersweet. Just ask former Montauk resident Richard David. My uncle worked in the Apollo program, and I felt the reverb both in the chest and the heart. I mean, it was emotional. It was awe-inspiring. So now that the crew is safely in orbit, everyone's focus now is on the crew's safe return back down to Earth. Once Atlantis touches ground, it will signify the end of a space program that's ignited the excitement of Americans for three decades. We're at the Kennedy Space Center today. Tara Rosenblum, News 12.